Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dholakia, is going to explain you full subtractor circuit using full adder circuit. Right. So, see, first I will be explaining you what is full subtractor and what is full adder circuit in little detail. Right. And to understand that completely, you just go through my previous video. So, when we talk about full subtractor and as if we want to perform a minus b plus c right then we can say difference d that will be a x or b x or c right and we can say borrow that will be a bar b plus a bar c plus b c so this is what full subtractor circuit right and as if you observe full adder circuit then in full adder circuit we perform a plus b plus c operation where sum that is a x or b x or c and if you see carry that is a b plus AC plus BC. See this is how full adder and full subtractor circuit that is there and I have already derived both of this. Right. So now I'll explain you how we can form full subtractor from full adder. Right. So if you observe full adder circuit. So let me make it full adder circuit over here. Now see in full adder circuit right now we have sum and carry over here c0 and if you see sum then that is a x or b x or c and if you see carry so that is a b plus a c plus b c right now to have subtractor all we need is i need to have a bar at borrow right instead of a b plus a c plus b c i wanted to have a bar b plus a bar c plus b c so how to have it so for that if i consider one not gate over here at terminal a now our equation will change you can see now this equation will be instead of a now full adder that will be resulting into a bar x or b x or c and if you observe this then in this now this will be a bar b plus a bar c plus b c right so now you can see now my carry signal of full adder that is similar to borrow but if I see my sum signal, so that is changing. Now it is a bar over here, right? So now all I can do is if I connect one more inverter over here. So if I connect one more inverter over here, then what will happen? Then here double inversion will happen, right? And as double inversion is happening, this will be translating this a bar into a. So in XOR gate, there is a characteristic, right, where if you do double inversion of any terminal at input or at output, that will cancel that inversion. So here, if you provide one more inverter, then this A bar that will get translated into A, right. So now if you observe, if you connect this two NOT gate at input A and at output of sum, right then this circuit that is functioning like full subtractor circuit right so one should know see how to translate full subtractor from full adder right so if you provide inversion like this we can be able to make it like this right in next video I'll be explaining you how we can have full adder using full subtractor. 
so you just see that in next video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestion definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will resolve your queries thank you so much for watching this